Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to extract a piece of text from a cell that occurs at the nth occurrence within that cell. That made no sense. <laughs> but what I'm looking at doing here in the example on screen is extracting these two characters that represent a number of some kind in this pretend example. But that number occurs at different positions within each cell and the kind of routine I'm after here is that it occurs after the third space within each cell. So I'm looking at extracting the piece of text that begins after the third space. Okay, so we're going to get stuck into this here by using the mid function. So no messing around, we're going straight in. If you need any further information on any of the functions used here, please check out the Excel function list at computergargot.com where we'll provide some background information to these. But if you've come across this video, you've probably dabbled with some of these data manipulation, you know, these functions that will clean and prepare data and work with text before. So we're going to use the mid function to extract text in the middle of a cell. The first question by mid is where is the text that is in cell A1? That is my first record in this free record example. Comma. Where is the starting position? Where is this text? Now that is the problem element. The text I'm after occurs after the third space. That's not easy. The mid cannot do that on its own. So we're going to use a find function to find the third space and report back what position that is in because we know that the text occurs one character after the third space. Now find will ask us what we want to look for. Now we are not going to put a space because find cannot find the third space, it will only find the first episode of what you tell it to look for. So we're going to tell it to look for a character that is not in any of these cells. I am going for the asterisk for no reason, there is nothing special about the asterisk here. I am simply going for a character that does not exist anywhere in this list, but it does exist on my keyboard. I could have quite happily gone for an ampersand a percentage sign, a question mark, uh, almost anything else really. Comma. This is where the real magic is and why we are doing this. When it asks us where to look for the asterisk, and normally in simpler examples, we would say A1. But that is not good enough for us right now. What we're going to do is substitute the third space in each of them items with an asterisk so that find can return that position. We're going to use a function called substitute to replace existing text with a different being so text. In this example, a third space with an asterisk. This function will ask us where the text is. It's in cell A1. It will ask us what the old piece of text is. What are you looking at substituting out of that cell? It's a space. Comma new text, what are you looking at substituting instead of the space? What comes in? That's my asterisk. Comma. And this fourth and final optional question is the magic one. This is what we're here for. This is what is driving this whole scenario. This question of substitute. What instance of that character? Three. The third instance of a space in that cell, when you see it, if you can switch it for an asterisk, we have a find function to return the position of that asterisk, and then a mid function to extract text from that position. This is what it's all about. Closing bracket on substitute takes us back to find. Find wants to know where to start looking from. We don't need to tell it that because it's going to start from the beginning. So we close that off. Back to mid function. 
comma. How many characters? Two. We know in this example, it is two characters long. Close in bracket. Now, at the moment, the way I've constructed this function, it is returning the two characters from the space. Now, I do not want the space. I want the two numbers. So, really, we're looking for the position that occurs one after the space. So, just after that find function, so I would have put this in while I was writing, but I... I made an honest mistake and forgot about it. <laughs> I'm trying to gloss over that, but I thought I might as well admit to it. We want plus one in here. So just after, once you find that position, plus one, get that position of the number, extract the two from that point. If I press enter, oh, this is what we're after. Copy this down. Yes. So, no matter what happens here, if I add some more text, more letters to this, it's not going to affect what happens here. I can even substitute some. There's no problem. We have a function that can find the position based on the third space or the nth occurrence within a list. So, this is quite complex data manipulation here using text functions mid, find, and substitute to achieve our objective. It's a quick fire tutorial. I hope that made sense. Uh, if, you, if you like it, please mention it in your comments. Any problems, let me know. But this has been computergargoid.com. I hope you find the video useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargoid.com. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel.